Hey, hi, hello, and welcome everybody out there to episode 4 of The Library. I'm Manny, and my Steam library is still at 902 games. Thanks for asking. Do you ever just look at your Steam library and wonder where the hell some of those games came from? I sure as shit do. If you're anything like me, you'll take a gander to new game bundle and you'll pull the trigger based solely on a couple of games that you maybe had a little bit of interest in. Anything else on that list becomes an added bonus. Now I love game bundles as much as the next guy, but sometimes you end up with shit like this. Or this. Or whatever the hell that is. But sometimes you end up with genuinely awesome looking stuff like the bridge. I guess I'm just going to jump right into today's game because honestly, I don't know where this came from, but it looks really nice, very puzzly. Whoa, sleepy boy. What's up, sleepy boy? Let's wake you up. Oh, nice. I'm going to just, oh, oh, I woke him up. He's moving. We're walking. Look at that walk cycle. Look at how nice that is. Oh, okay. There we go. Gotta just, gotta rotate. Gotta rotate things. All right. This looks, this looks interesting. Oh, no, no, don't slide. Let's go. All right, let's do it. No, keep going. There it is. What if this guy just rolled up into a ball and just took this ramp like Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh my goodness. This is very interesting. The library. <laughs> Is he gonna turn my world upside down? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, okay, I did it. And I unlocked it. All right. All right. So is this seems like this ball is no good. That ball looks like it's gonna fuck my day up if it touches me. A menacing looking ball. Turn this way. Okay, the ball's stuck now. And rotate so the ball won't touch me. Um. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I get to rewind time. Okay. All right. Nope. Let's rotate time backwards. Let's just... Let's just turn this back a few notches. No, 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 ball. I don't want you here. <laughs> let's just reset the puzzle, because I fucked this up beyond fucking up. Alright, cool. Rotating it now. Ah, fuck. I can't cheat it the way I thought I could. I mean, to be fair, you don't really go in through doors that way. Oh, I think I did it. I'm just a big dum-dum. Two locks this time. We double the fun. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. This is a gigantic mindfuck. No! Think about this. Let's just hold on. So I got two keys. And I gotta rotate them. What are those ropes for? Okay. That one, I get it. It slid down that thing there. Oh my good god, I get it now. I wonder if I can slide it in there. I think I got this. Gotta think outside the box here, guys, or sometimes... Around the circle! That's what's up. No, don't you dare jam on me, Key. Oh my god. Shit. Stop it. Stop with your... No. There we go. Look at that. That's really cool. Took me a few tries, but I, uh... I feel smarter than I should right now. This is really dizzying, though. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. This guy would just, 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 just. This thing should just be full of vomit. Just gray and black and white vomit all over the walls because holy shit. I did it. Alright. Look at that face. Is that fun I hear coming from this mausoleum? You better cut it out right now. So 
So if I start to exit through the left... No, don't you dare come back here. You're bugging me out, you ball. And I turn this way. Get myself over here. And then... For the real magic... I let myself get trapped in the void. Rotate this thing. Let it go down the hole. Keep turning it. And there it goes. Look at it. Look at how nice that is. Look at that ball. Good ball. As far as balls go, you're pretty cool. Man, that sure was something. Having gone in mostly blind, I gotta say, I was pretty pleasantly surprised by this game. Both in gameplay and aesthetic, I'm reminded of other indie puzzlers like The Misadventures of PB Winterbottom or even Braid. Much like those games, the bridge really forces you to think critically and it constantly challenges what your perception of any given puzzle might be. To me, that's the sign of a great puzzle game. The game's big puzzle solving mechanic works intuitively in tandem with the level design and it quickly establishes a level of cleverness that, while familiar, does its own thing. Everything the game lays out for you is challenging but fair and it feels like the more and more you go on with this game, the more rewarding it feels to finish this ridiculously complex and elaborate thing. I'd say I'm pretty damn likely to come back and see this all the way through. If you like puzzle games, maybe you should check it out too. Or don't. But you really should.